Okay, so for breakfast today, I'm going to be having oatmeal. This is the regular Quaker Oats Maple Brown Sugar Oatmeal. Very simple. I don't really, I never tried any of the other flavors, but this is like the one I like the most. So let's, you guys know how to make oatmeal, so you know, just put it in the microwave. Now let's get started. Instead of water, I'm going to add almond milk. This is um, unsweetened original almond milk. And then I'm going to pop this into the microwave. Okay, now that my oatmeal is done, I'm just going to add in some cut up strawberries. I use three strawberries. I'm going to add that in. And then I'm going to add in some granola. Oh, snap the strawberry fell. I'm going to wash this off. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's about it for my breakfast. Um, bon appetit. Sometimes people just drink a smoothie as lunch, but I'm using it as a snack because I'm going to have a light lunch later. So, yeah. No, it's lunchtime, lunchtime. Can't wait for lunchtime. It's the meal that comes between brunch and lantern. Okay, guys. So, for lunch, I have a salad. You guys can see it. I'm going to take another clip of it. So, basically, in this salad, I have romaine lettuce i showed you guys the bag that i use it has romaine lettuce carrots and cabbage in it it's just like a a mix of things i have two boiled eggs black beans because my mom made sauce pois, so i just stole some beans from her sauce pois. tomatoes and guacamole so this is my lunch <laughs> All right, so for snack earlier, I had some skinny popcorn. Now it's time for dinner. And today for dinner, I'm gonna be having the, this brown rice and quinoa bowl. It's supposedly microwavable, only for one minute. I never tried these before. Um, hopefully it's good because this is the only option I can think of right now that's for dinner. So I'm gonna be having this little bowl. I'm gonna be using the Boca Burger um, patties and chop it up and use that as like the meat in my bowl. So yeah, let's get cooking. Okay, so um, the brown rice and quinoa, this is what it looks like. Uh, ooh, yikes. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, it just says to take the cover off 
and put it in the microwave for one minute like I don't know I'm kind of scared <laughs> hopefully this tastes good but yeah, I just had to show you guys this before I put it in the microwave also I put the Boca burger in the air fryer so that should be done soon Okay, here's the stuff. I got my seasonings back here. Pepper, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, black pepper. This is all gonna be used to season the boca patty. That's already done, so let's take that out the air fryer. <laughs> okay, so here's my patty. I'm gonna hold it with a spatula. Yeah, that's what my patty's looking like. So I'm gonna chop this up and season it. about it for dinner now it's time for the taste i never tried this brown rice and quinoa thing before so i hope it's good the salsa really added the kick it tastes really good with that salt when i add some salsa in it like into my scoop I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. This is good. Also, I forgot to mention that I've been drinking water with every meal that I had today. I didn't drink any juice or soda. The only other drink I had was the smoothie. And also, I didn't eat the Nature Valley because I ended up being full from the smoothie. So that's not part of the what I eat, what I ate for today. But dinner is my last meal so this is the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed and i gave you guys some ideas for some new vegetarian meals that you might want to try or even if you're not vegetarian you know you could try it anyway because these all taste really good i wouldn't lie to you they all taste good i'm not going to eat something that's nasty one but we all have different taste buds but it's good i'm telling you it's good thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and comment down below if you liked if you like this video and any suggestions of other videos that I should do in the future. And yeah, bye guys.